broadcasting from Mabula, Kuwait. This is the Me and Lair reality video show, uh, LTL News Weekend Review. We're starting off with uh, uh, unrest in China, in Jingning, of course, to where the uh, Muslim community, of course, they wanted to have their own praise in China, but you know China is not of a uh, democracy. So China uh, instead is uh, made sure they clean things out. They brought in the army and of course there's a lot of unrest and uh, of course when you in a community like that or any uh, rural or really urban, urban uh, community there's going to be a lot of unrest, a lot of confusion, and a lot of fighting. And that will happen. From a silent protest to a, a real unrest and uh, violence. Which 140 people got, 56, 156 got killed and uh, over a thousand uh, got arrested. Of course. Also, Obama, uh, he visited uh, the Russian president, Medvedev. And uh, he brought his family along. They discussed about the uh, arms deal. That's uh, those two pres those two presidents. And along with Bushkin, uh they decided to cut it down to about uh, 1,500 missiles apiece, uh, nuclear missiles that is. And they was going to uh, end up, I guess, um, either stop um, scrapping them. Uh, United States go to scrap theirs to Mexico and South America somewhere and of course Russia's going to scrap theirs to guess what Iran so they could build it up uh oh whoo I'll be scared but anyway uh, moving on the G8 summit I guess after the talks that they had uh, they just uh, had a race to see who would get down to Rome Italy to get with that tycoon president, that playboy, that lover of an uh, Italian president uh, for the G8 summit to uh, discuss about uh, the climate to see if they could get it down to more than two Celsius. Well you can see uh, how cool the uh, president was for Italy. He was able to uh, come down there, uh, well, meet him in his, uh, I guess he was in his smoking jacket. Yeah, he was, what a lover he was, huh? But anyway, uh, they were discussing about the, uh, the climate, trying to get it down to two Celsius or more. Well, I guess that discussion is far and in between, like Bar Barack Obama said, it was just as cold as uh, the climate, yeah. And then, of course, uh, they was really couldn't even get into the picture until, uh, of course, they need the man who could speak up for them, and that's uh, Lulu de Silva. No, it wasn't. It was uh, Obama to get in the uh, group picture, and they was able to uh, get that done. And at least they got that done, and uh, at least the... Uh, dinner banquet was uh, really sizzling uh, because uh, Gaddafi uh, from the African Union in his attire oh man he kind of warmed things up yeah he, he could step down uh, walk down the catwalk I'm too sexy for my hat too sexy for my outfit too sexy for everything that man could be uh, in top covers of GQ fashion and any type of fashion uh, magazine. But anyway, as we move on, uh, exile president uh, Manuel Zelela and uh, acting president uh, Maceda uh, of Honduras, uh, they had talks and it, it was just easy. Um, you know, the Zelela said, I need to come back and get back to my presidency in office. And, you know, uh, Mekaseli said, no, you cannot because you are guilty of uh, buying guns and selling drugs, uh, drug trafficking. So we 
found you guilty. Civil Congress said you are guilty. You are ousted. You're not coming back. And that was it. Uh, no need to uh, cry to the world's media about your story wearing some uh, Mexican hat. I thought it was a Cuban hat. Mexican hat. And uh, crying to the president. And then to have uh, Chavez um, help form that organize of America states and then kick out Honduras. So what? Honduras ain't going to worry about it. They can always ask uh, China or Russia for their help. Oh, that could throw a uh, wrench into the whole plan down in Central and South America. So stay tuned for that. Indonesia election. Man. Everybody could uh, get an example from them because it was so quiet, it was calm. They showed the pictures, who they need to pick on, and of course, uh, they picked the right person. That's it, fair, fair and easy. Uh, everybody should uh, do that. I can see somebody else trying to do that in our hand and see the pictures. Oh man, they'd be saying, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, hell, a gunpoint to vote. But anyway, moving on, uh, Barack Obama, of course, went to Ghana uh, to address the African uh, nations about the food aid that was going to be sent to them, 15 to $20 billion. And, of course, uh, to tell African um, nations to push forward, keep on pushing. To, uh, to be a, a helpful part in, uh, in Africa, but also here's the one part that disturbed the LTL. When they went to the slave fort, they, BBC and other news media, and I guess his advisor as well, misinformed the president on that issue to find out that this is where the slaves was at. No. There was other places as well. It was just a part that Ghana was a Eng English colony where it could be good for politics to, uh, to bring things forward and, uh, and it's so ethical diversified. Not like uh, Senegal. Uh, Senegal is a French uh, speaking and Goy Island was w one of the major parts for having the slave house. Not only Ghana, where they can advertise saying that's the door of no return, but the real one was in Goy Island, the main one. I got history and everything. If they want to listen, the world community want to listen, they can get with the LTL. And then last and not least, Michael Jackson Memorial Service. It was uh, grand and uh, they bought the, uh, the $25,000 gold casket. I mean like a gold bar. And then everybody uh, spoke on his behalf. And uh, he, as uh, one person said, he's the greatest entertainer alive. It is so true. Um, people had picked on him, uh, joked about him and children. No, he was helping children. He was loving the children. But anyway, his daughter said the best line, he's the greatest dad I have. The greatest dad. I will miss him so much. Paris Jackson, many people will miss him to the greatest entertainer alive. And his legacy is going to move forward. The creditors are going to uh, try to put their hands on it, but you got to have some people to stand against that. So this is LTL, the Week in Review, Editorial News, Sounding!